Good afternoon, everyone. I am here today with my little Zen, and I'm going to be giving him his first bath. So that's why he's all necky. So excuse any boy bits, but this is a bath video. So if you don't like naked little doll baby parts, this video is not for you because he is going to be taking a bath. So I can't put any clothes on him yet. I'm going to be just giving him a sponge bath. And this is just lukewarm water. And I'm going to just put a little bit of Johnson's head to toe baby wash in there. Just a teeny little bit. Because I don't want to put too much soap on him from what I hear with silicone babies and their paint and their matte varnish and all of that. You don't want to put too much chemicals on them if you don't have to. Um, what else? Okay, so he is Zen by Clear Taylor. He has a cloth body. This is his male belly plate. It's anatomically correct. So, let me just put this over here. So, um, I only could give him a sponge bath, a little wipe off, because he has the cloth body. And so let's get started with his little face. Um, this is a little baby washcloth I'm using, and it's nice and soft. And I'm not going to really rub his silicone. I'm just going to kind of dab it. It'll just get some of the powder build up off of him. And any dust that he might have on him. And as I said, this is his first bath. And what I forgot to bring over here with me is Q-tips. Trying to see if I have any. I have all of my stuff in this basket. So I'm just trying to see that I throw any Q-tips in this basket. Because it's not the Q-tips away in the bathroom. <laughs> okay, goody. I have a couple of Q-tips in there. Just in case. I usually use Q-tips to go in the ears and in their little nose and like in the little creases of their eyes and stuff so I don't wipe it with the big washcloth. It's easier to use a little Q-tip and like he has powder in his little creases. Sometimes you need a Q-tip to get in the creases and as you can see he has three quarter arms which I don't like the way it looks, but I like um, that he has them, if that makes any sense. Because what it does is, because the arms have the joint in it, I forgot what you exactly call it, but it just makes his arms really poseable where you can move them. Whereas if he was a full body, you can't really do that with their arms. So I don't like the way... This cloth looks, but I do like the posing ability it gives the baby, if that makes sense. And he has two fully opened hands, pretty much. So you have to be careful with his little fingers. Very dainty little fingers he has, and I try not to pull on them. And Zen is a AA skin tone. Um, he looks darker on camera to me. He's actually lighter in person. So he's like a fair, fair skinned AA skin tone. <coughs> Excuse me. Just wipe his hair a little bit. And I love his hair as, I, as I've said. It's just so easy to manage. It's micro-rooted one hair at a time. It looks very realistic. But it comes out really easy. So 
I try not to mess with his hair that much as far as brushing or combing it. And I've had Zen now for a month today, actually. Makes one month since this little guy has been home. And he is such a joy to have, I tell you. I'm so happy to have this baby. Um, I have enjoyed every day since he's come home. He's like, where were you, Zen? Where had you been? <laughs> That's how much I'm enjoying him. I mean, I love all my babies, but some of them is just, you know how they're just special. And this is one of those babies. He's just really special. I mean, it was an instant bond soon as I took him out of the box. <clears throat> and you know, some babies, you don't, you don't have that instant bond. This baby, I just had an instant bond with him. And I had wanted him for so long, I guess that's why I just instantly bonded with him. And I keep getting hairs on stuck on him. So that's basically it with his little wipe off. I'm pretty much done. And I love his feet. Let's see if I can show his feet again. I never really did an actual details video. But this is his little foot, and it looks so real. Oh, my gosh. He has the cutest little feet. He has long toes, though. Very long toes also. He has long fingers and long toes. And as I said, um, he is, uh, what do you call it? Not circumcised, and I don't want to offend anyone. I had showed this on another video, but he still has his whole foreskin on. And he is not circumcised. That's something I discovered a couple of days after I got him. My son noticed it and said, Mommy, he's not circumcised. And I mean, clear tail of babies, as I've said, um, they are just so detailed. I mean, the lady, she's really, she covers everything with her babies. And they just look so realistic, like real babies. I mean, his fingers and everything, his little nails, I mean, his feet, everything is just so, so detailed. And he has a little tongue in his mouth. He has a little mouth. It's not deep, but he has gums up there. You can see the little root of his mouth, um, little gums at the bottom, and a little tongue. But he can't take a full passy because his mouth is so crowded and it's not very deep. So, as I said, I have to modify his passies. So, I have a whole collection of passies that is just for him. Um, this is his little ear, one of them. And I love the little crinkly ears, the way Claire does them. Um, he has an ear canal and everything in there. I just love, love, love how realistic his face is. He has a little dimple in his little chin. I mean, his little nose. Everything is just so, just so realistic. Um, this is his little belly plate. And this belly plate is so soft. And the artist, she, you can see all of the veining she put on him. And like the little blushing in certain areas. He is painted very well. Um, he wasn't painted by Clea Taylor. He is actually from Australia. <coughs> Excuse me. And he was painted by. I don't have the paper out. So I don't want to mess up the artist's name. But let me go get it. I'll be right back. This is his little birth certificate. Um, and the, it was Happiness Nursery Australia. And the artist is Gianji Vago Pearl. And that's what he's in. And the reason I'm just re-going over this for those who might have seen it already. Is because some people might not have seen the box opening. 
so that's why I figured I'd go over it because I never actually did a details video on him so this is kind of details video slash bath so I'm just cleaning out his little nose and his little creases his eyes um his little mouth because he has a slightly open mouth and just clean his little ears a little bit and his bath is all done he is all nice and clean right Zen? so Zen is can I remember his um length he's about 20 inches long and about seven pounds because he's 6.61 pounds which means about seven he's about seven pounds <clears throat> this is his back which as you can see I put the little well I didn't put these I just retied them basically and he already had his little ties it was my other baby actually I did her ties like this he came with his tie so that was good and his little tushy has the little crease the little tushy crease and he is just um perfectly weighted nicely weighted he's so soft and cuddly this is his little head and his little head I mean it's like a shape like a real baby's head that's one thing like I said I love with Claire's babies I mean, his head is really shaped like a baby's head. It's not just round. It's kind of oblong. And you can see how the back comes out just like a real baby's head would be. He has a soft spot right here. And a soft spot right here. So his head is like very realistic. So now I'm going to just put... A little powder on him since he is a little dampy he feels a little sticky so he does require a little powdering from time to time he's not like the newer silicones where they don't really need powdering he does need powdering from time to time and I don't know if it has anything to do with the newer silicones I think it could just be the way Claire paints them and mats them. They don't need powdering. As I said, this baby was poured and sculpted by Claire Taylor, but painted by a different artist. Um, the Zen doll was sold in kits where you can buy the kit and then you just have an artist. Whoops, that was too much powder. Um, an artist paint it for you. So he was not painted by clear, but very nicely painted nonetheless. So he does need a little powdering every now and again. Sometimes I don't like to powder my AA silicones though because it like washes away the color. Like you can't really see what color they are. They just start to look white when you put powder on them. It looks pale like no color basically. I need it my let me get my ball. <clears throat> it's just easier sometimes to get the powder out of the ball. So anyway, that is his bath. I'm gonna just put a diaper and a t-shirt on him. Let's see how long the video is going. If it's not that long, I will dress him also. But if it's too long, I will come back in another video and dress him. Right then. And it's going to be time for him to eat soon. And he's been such a nice baby, letting me bathe him. And he's being good. And I really don't put powder on his face too much. 
put a little bit on his cheeks. Okay, so I'm going to put this Huggies on him. And he wears, this is a size um, 2 Huggies. Because he has a little chubby little tushy. So, <clears throat> he can fit size 1, but it fits really snug. So, I kind of like the size 2 on him better. So he won't need any powder for a while. I think I powdered him very well. That's his diaper. And this video is at 16 minutes. So, yeah, I'm going to probably come back and dress him in another video. Let me just put on his little snap side t shirt. And I really like these on him. I actually like these better than onesies. Lately, I've been just putting these on him under his clothes. And I don't really take off his belly plate. I like it on. And it's really soft, so it doesn't take away from his cuddliness. He's still really cuddly. So I just leave his belly plate on. Right then. So that was his first bath. And we will come back and dress him. I'm going to just give him his little dinosaur passy. It is blue and green. And there he is. So thanks for watching and we will be back in a little while with another video. There he is. Bye bye.